10 times judges buzz too early on Britain's or America's Got Talent. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. They hold the fate of your career in their hands. With a push of one big fat red button, your future in showbiz hangs in the balance. But sometimes, the urge to judge comes prematurely, and instead of embarrassing performers, the judges are left red-faced and begging for forgiveness. Britain's Got Talent and its sister show America's Got Talent hosts a diverse range of people. From magicians and comedians to singers and dancers, it's hard to know where the next big act is waiting to be discovered. So it's no surprise when the show's judges become a little too tempted by that big red button of scorn. Let's take a look at 10 times the judges buzzed way too early. Before we replay some of the most regretting moments on America's Got Talent, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. Number 10. Aaron Marshall, The Frozen Screamer It seems like a guaranteed success. Sing a cover from a widely popular Disney princess theme song from Frozen. You love the song, the audience loves the song, and yes, the judges love the song. But when Britain's Got Talent host Amanda Holden squealed with glee upon hearing the song's opening piano, she had no clue what she was in for. The performer Aaron Marshall seemed innocent enough until he opened his mouth. Instead of an elegant flow of syllables, the venue was greeted to a screeching, raspy voice. As a look of horror spreads across Amanda's face, it takes less than 10 seconds for her to smash the red button. Get off, get off, get off, shouts Amanda, but the rest of the judging panel can only watch with big smiles, caught between her discomfort and the hilarious performance on stage. Things only get worse for her as the crowd starts joining the fun, yelling along with the lyrics and even waving their hands in unison. Shocked and defeated, Amanda endures the pain, arms crossed, until finally, Aaron's screeching comes to an end. The crowd erupts in applause, and then, one by one, the remaining judges approve him to move on to the next stage. But not before Amanda gets the last words in, declaring to Aaron, it's a big, fat, cold, icy, frozen no. Um, I'm going to say sorry for buzzing early. No problem. Number 9. Stevie Pink Wow Simon Cowell Stevie Pink is an unusual magician, and this clearly threw off some of the judges as the performer walked on stage in a vibrant pink outfit complete with fluffy feathers and a pink hat. It only took a few seconds for Alicia Dixon and Amanda Holden to slam their red buttons down at the same time, even if Simon Cowell looked over in shock asking, what'd you do that for? But still, Unfazed, Stevie Pink continued his performance, focused despite losing two judges. And then, something incredible starts to happen. The female assistant on stage lays down on a platform in front of the magician and suddenly starts to float in midair. The audience erupts in excitement, and the two disapproving judges suddenly look intrigued, and Simon can't stop staring at them with a smirking grin. Stevie Pink has his assistant floating up and around him, all with the wave of his arms, and even throws in a magician's ring for good measure, before gently dropping her back down on the platform. I'm gonna say sorry for buzzing early, says Alicia, because it was really good. Amanda followed suit with the rest of the judges. I don't know how you did it, so I'm also going to say yes. Can I press my golden button? <laughs> Number 8. Simon Cowell v's an unusual duo Since the older days on American Idol, Simon Cowell had always had the reputation of the Grinch of talent shows. This was certainly no exception when an unusual duo walked on stage, an 80-year-old woman and a middle-aged man. As everything goes silent, the audience waits in anticipation for what will come next. It all begins slowly. The duo begins a slow, rhythmic dance, but it's all too slow for Simon, who slams down the button. The duo suddenly comes to a stop. The music dies off, 
And then, a moments later, a fast-paced Latin song begins to play as the old man and woman perform a lightning-fast dance. The crowd erupts and even Simon's eyes go wide with surprise. By the time the set is over, three of the judges give a standing ovation, and Simon has no choice but to get up as well. Well, I apologize for what I did, says Simon, because I did obviously buzz a little early. But that was before all the crazy things started happening, you know. It was all kind of like slow and normal, and then it all went ballistic. Number 7. Faces of Disco In another sour moment for Simon Cowell, he ended up humbled by a performance from a dance duo called Faces of Disco. Once the music dropped and the performance unveils large cardboard cutout masks of popular celebrities, Simon had enough. He smashed the red button with a scowl as the dancers continued their act to the delights of the audience and the other judges. As the performance came to a close, the venue was lit with excitement and things settled down. Simon prepared his apology. I buzzed a little early, he said. I thought this was gonna be just impersonating the British people or whatever it was, but I liked it. I thought it was fun. I'm impressed. I liked it. Number 6. Alicia Dixon's Premature Buzz Alicia Dixon is no stranger to dancing, so when Dylan Bird walked on stage, it's no surprise why she smashed the buzzer so soon. Dylan does not look like your typical professional dancer. Very young and slightly overweight. But this incredible kid turns what some might call disadvantages into advantages. The crowd goes silent, everything is set, and suddenly, Dylan breaks out into a sassy, high-energy dance. Everyone in the room explodes with glee, except for Alicia. Soon, she's smashing the buzzer, standing out amongst the rest with the giant X beneath the desk. Unfazed, Dylan continues his energetic performance until it comes to a stunning end as the crowd goes wild. Finally, it's Alicia's turn to explain herself and it soon becomes clear what happened. I think you're lovely, she explains. I buzzed because I didn't think the dancing was the standard I'm personally looking for. I'm so, so sorry. Alicia kept her ex, but at least acknowledged that Dylan had some serious skills. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Number five. The Unnamed Musician In one of the show's most bizarre acts, a strange fellow who refused to give his name to the judges managed to win their love over by the end of his performance. Donning a bright yellow shirt and a red cape, he rudely interrupted the judges' request for more details about him and began playing his accordion. This quickly prompted a buzzer from both Simon Cowell and Alicia Dixon, but just as everyone thinks it's finally over, he breaks out into a unique rendition of Michael Jackson's They Don't Care About Us. The audience goes wild, including Alicia Dixon, who seemed ready to retract her ex. Simon was suddenly more interested, but hesitated to offer praise. By the time the act was done, the musician won over all of the audience and the judges, except for Simon, who obviously refused to give up his ex. He is known to be stubborn. Hi, what's your name? I'm Luca Calo. I'm 23 years old. Number 4. Luca Calo Shocks Everyone The moment Luca Calo walked on stage, it was clear something was very different about him. From the bright red basketball jersey to the unusually large high heels, the judges seemed perplexed as to what they were about to witness. And then, a soft piano begins to play, and Luca unveils something incredibly bad. His voice! Simon Cowell, Alicia Dixon, and Amanda Holden all slam down their exes. The judges begin looking around in shock by Luca's horrendous singing talents, until suddenly, things get kicked up a notch. The music transitions into an upbeat hip-hop classic, and Luca unveils a diverse set of crazy dance moves, much to the delight of the audience and the judges. As peculiar as it is, viewers quickly became receptive, and both Alicia and Amanda are completely engaged. 
all while Simon scowls in the corner. By the time it's all said and done, Luca walks away with a victorious three yeses and a defiant no from Simon. Number 3. An Unusual Painter Watching paint dry can be boring, and apparently for the judges on Switzerland's Got Talent, watching someone paint live is also dreadful. So when one performer decided to paint on a canvas in front of a live audience, it wasn't long before the X's started dropping. Still, it seemed as if the artist had something up her sleeve as if a big reveal was waiting just around the corner. As three judges slammed the red button, a sudden burst of smoke and ash was thrown onto the canvas, and what began as a drawing turned into a beautiful reveal. The crowd roared into a standing ovation, and the judges were all pleasantly surprised. One by one, they retracted their X's and approved the act to the next stage. Здравствуйте, Аида. Здравствуйте. Что вы нам споете? Uh, Number 2. Singer Gets Put to the Test In one popular European talent show, a female singer impressed the audience, but judges were suspicious. After a quick huddle, they revealed a unique challenge to the performer and asked her to sing the song again, but this time a cappella. With a nervous look on her face, she begins the rendition, but this time without the aid of backup music. But in just a few seconds, the judges are humbled by her beautiful voice echoing throughout the venue. My God, exclaims one judge as the rest stare in wonder. Needless to say, the singer was then quickly promoted to the next stage of the contest. Number 1. A Nervous Teenager Wows the Audience Stage fright can bring an artist's career to an end, so judges looked concerned when a young performer seemed timid even before opening her mouth. Are you nervous, Emma? asked Simon, to which Emma responded with a frail head nod. Simon began to look nervous for her, as well as the other three judges. Everything suddenly goes silent, and then a low musical tone is heard from the venue speakers. Emma seems to brace herself multiple times, waiting for the right moment, and then open her mouth for the first syllable. You can never judge a book by its cover. And all at once, the judge's eyes go wide as Emma's beautiful operatic voice echoes. The audience erupts into cheers as the young, timid teenager puts on the performance of her life. And while the judges may have considered pressing the buzzer, Emma redeemed herself and proved to everyone just how incredibly talented she is. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. And don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on the screen.